Hi everybody. I'm back with another video and this Tasha K thing is getting hilarious. I just watched I think uh Lioness of Judah's um video of Tasha K going ham on Mr. Dennis. Mr. Dennis um uh, sorry I can remember when I'm going there. Dennis, mm. hey, these connectors are not working for me early this morning, so when I'm going to get it, I'm going to remember it. Ooh, almost got it, almost got it. Mr. Dennis, ugh, it flashed before my frontal lobe and disappeared. Ugh, what's that name now? Hmm. Mr. Dennis, let me see, I'm going to need to get some help because I'm just not remembering like him. Uh, Mr. Dennis Barring, I think a quick little because it was taking too long. Oh, <gasps> okay. The girl getting sued by Cardi. What do people talk about? They may have a loss of their line and say she may have one too. Because of what Tasha said, said uh did with her when she first started this Cardi B path to destruction. Or her destruction, because I just see it. Anyway. Lionel Judas did a video, just now I just watched it, on, um, let me take a quick look through my phone. She did a video on Tasha K going after Mr. Dennis Byron. And she said what she said, like she normally says, she goes off on people, she ain't scared of nobody. So, Mr. Dennis Byron comes back and said what he had to say, what he had to say. And he named his two lawyers on his, uh, I think, Instagram Live and tell Tasha to name hers and stop running. Well, Linus of Judah. Put that information out there for us to enjoy. And then she comes back with her this rap, which I find very talented. Very talented rapper. And I didn't know she could rap. But then again, there's probably a lot of these YouTube bloggers on here that are very talented people. And we just don't know it because they just blog. But Tasha K is bringing the talent out of YouTube bloggers that's just on here blogging. But she is bringing the talent out. I'm new here, so if she's already this far known on YouTube, I don't know it because I'm new here. But she did this rap. This rap is very, very good. And boy, she got me bouncing. Mm -mm. What she say now? I had to take some medication for some pain last week, and the medication still has me losing certain connectors in the brain to the mind to say what I want. So that's how come I'm having trouble remembering out of my mouth, remembering what I want to connect, what I want to say, because this medication does that. Ugh. But I had to do it because that neck pain ugh, was too much. I, I went to therapy, went to physical therapy, had physical therapy yesterday. And she worked on my neck. And the neck is feeling better. So I didn't have to. Um, Take the um, well, I had to take the pain medicine Monday, 
because I have been doing I take my medicine Sunday. Then I went to therapy Monday. She worked on my neck and whatever. But during the week, it kind of, it didn't hurt as much after that. But it hurt a little bit. And then Friday, it wasn't hurting as bad, but, you know, it was stiff and whatever. And then I went to therapy, therapy Friday. And I left out of there, and my neck is not hurting. It's not hurting. I don't have to need medication. But it takes a while for that medication to leave my brain, because I don't take medication at least I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely have to. Because I can deal with pain. But sometime after three days, I got to take something so I can function. So anyway, that's how I'm having children. Trying to get my words out like I want. But anyway, she played this, she played this uh, rap called Wino Music. Wino Records Entertainment presents Wino Music. I think this is very, I think one of her subscribers said, and the Grammy goes to, the Grammy goes to, Linus of Judah. Sounds good. Have it on my phone. I want to play a little bit of it. It's just so cute. If she has a problem with it and with me sharing it, I have no problem deleting the video because I will. But. Freestyle. I just did a freestyle. I just did a freestyle. Just a freestyle. Grab your glass, cause it's time for wine. She wants your bitches drunk so that you don't notice she lying. I can't believe how this bitch lied on lovely teeth. That bitch been salty ever since he came through with receipts. Big congratulations when you're really hating. You exaggerating and that super fly how yeah, I do. Got you looking crazy. You believe, star? You must be taking her medication. We just want to see your little boost and your impersonation. <laughs> Oh my God, Tasha, you're getting desperate and desperate. I just love that laugh. Boy, I go on her channel. That channel, she did that live. And she was laughing at Tasha so hard through the whole live. I was just sitting, I was just sitting here just enjoying her laugh. Her laugh is hilarious. Yes, and I just love that her cute baby. Did she say he's two? Her cute baby. She was see was learning to count. Yes. Yes, um, I'm a grandmother. I got six or seven grand. And my eight month old grand was here yesterday. Oh, I just love her today. She just just we just looked to ten. Oh my god. Yes. I love babies. I'll be fifty nine this year. So I don't get no baby Phoebe with no baby. And my kids need to stop having kids because I'm getting too many grands. Because I'm 58, going on 59. Young, yes, I'm that little 12 year old girl. Uh, back in the day when I was waiting to be 13. Oh, I can't wait to get 13. I okay, I'll become age 13. Wow, I don't feel 13. I can't wait to get 14. I became 14. Wow. I don't feel 14. I still feel 12. I can't wait to get 15. Maybe I feel 15. Mm. Still don't feel 15. Wow. Still feel 12. 16! Wow. I still feel 12. I have not changed. And that's when I became, that's when my flower bloomed. I guess what you would call that um, beautiful, I don't even know how beautiful it is because it's annoying. 12. That's when I started blooming as far as maturing. Still flat chested, but I'm done. Got there. 16, 17, you'll feel 12. I got this your extra little thing for you that your teenagers get going on down there. Going on there. But I still feel 12. Okay, wait, I get 18. 18, yes, I'm 18. I can vote. 
vote for the first time in my life. Vote for Jimmy Carter. And and Reagan win. I never voted again. I don't got time for that. I still feel 12. 20. No, 19. 20. 21. I turned 21 in Pennsylvania. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I turned 21 in about a little year. I went to the Strawberry Lounge and I got around, get accosted by a police officer wanting to dance with me. Oh, you know, you whatever, whatever, whatever. He just wanted to know how old I was. Me, still feel 12. Oh, yes, I'm 21. It's my birthday. I'm 21. My birthday. He said, it's your birthday? Yes, girl. Yes, girl. I'm dancing with someone. I think it's nice. Show me. Do, 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 do. Put on my ID. I'm so proud. See, yeah, I turned when it's my birthday. Okay. I will be right back. I never saw the girl again. Time to go home. I see the guy at the thing. Asking him the people in the coat thing where you put your coat in your purse. purse. I need my peace. Your peace. You need the peace. People that like they couldn't find it. You know, I got to have that, and I got to have my peace now. I'm like, peace? You need peace? All of a sudden, they close his firearm. I'm like, oh, God, it was an officer with a officer coming here to just make sure that I wasn't a 12-year-old in the club. Well, I guess I didn't feel 21. I guess because I felt 12. They thought I was 12. Mm, mm, mm. 21, and they think I'm 12. Going to a club for the first time in my ever loving life. Okay, okay. Now I'm not drinking. This is early morning. This is naturally me. Man, naturally me all the time. I'm going to a very formal gathering. I haven't been invited too much, so I don't really, I don't really know. But I'm being invited to these formal things where we got to dress up. I went to one last year where you had to wear. I don't remember because I, because I'm 58 years old and never get invited to anything. So I am just innocent and just don't know nothing about the world because I've been sheltered by my daddy until I was 21 years old. I was in Pennsylvania, then I came back home. And I'm I'm 21 now. And my dad is still trying to hold me in the house. Now, Dad, it's time for me to go out and live my life. He didn't like that, so he ended up having some kind of sugar. Some kind of sugar fit. <laughs> and I think I'm crazy. But I had to leave home sometime. I cannot be home. It's, it was seven of us. Five girls and two boys. Yeah, but anyway, and you know, I went through that being accosted by big giant bouncers. I'm 25 years old. Am I 25? I hadn't had my first child yet, so I had to be 25 because I had my first child at 26. I was, 20, I was 25 when I got pregnant with him, and I had him at 26. He's 32 years old now. So... Or did I already have him? I don't know. The medication I take it has me not remembering. I've been remembering for the back and remembering good. Now that medication got to finish wearing off. So I can stop remembering like I want. But anyway, I was at 27. I might have been 27. Because I think I already had my baby. Anyway. And yes, and I was an innocent love. Also, innocent little, innocent little room and flower. Open top was 25. Hmm. Yes. Not going into details. Top was 25. Anyway. Mm. I go to a club. Me and my sister, she's a year younger than me. We go to, we go out partying with her. Because, you know, we don't get out. My daddy kept us 
kept us in so we couldn't get out and get in any trouble with boys and me messing over us. My daddy didn't. My daddy did not allow that. That would get you something. People knew that, so they didn't mess with what they call the Cooper girls. They didn't mess with us because daddy didn't just talk that life. He walked that life. He mind his business, took care of his family, but he didn't mess with the Cooper girls. But anyway, I'm me, my sister, and her friend. Now, now I'm older than my sister and my friend. Now, I think my friend was my she was my friend, she was my sister friend, my little sister friend, because I didn't have friends and still don't. My sister, I think I was 25. My sister was 24. And I think she was either 24 too. I think they're the same age. I don't really know, but they're close to the same age. Anyway, I'm older than both of them. See, because my friend, she used she used to go into clothes and stuff. She took care of it. Now. She didn't. She made sure that nobody did crazy things to us because she knew we was because she already knew we were sheltered little girls. And she made sure nothing happened to us. And we went in. She went in. I think I was 27. She was 25. Yeah, she was 25 because her insurance went down $200 at the time when she turned 25. So I was 27. She was 25. And my sister was 26. So she, she going, she going in the club walking in. Me and my sister just walking behind her. Next thing we know, I heard this girl say, you got your ID, you got your ID. I'm like, yeah. So me and my sister get us ID. And we show it to the girl. See, we never been to this place before because see, we don't. Because in my class, me and my sister, we never club. Let me say, even though I was twenty one, I still didn't go out like that because me and my sister, we just didn't care about that club life like that. But we went out with her because we didn't want to get in trouble, and she made sure we were okay because she used to going out. But then again, she don't get in a lot. Of, she don't get in all that either because she know that scene. She know we didn't know it, so she made sure we were okay. So she asked me for the club. Me and my sister, okay, boy, we showed our club. Oh, I'm 27. I'm showing my, I'm showing my ID. Yeah. That girl say, she said, she got my sister. She said, this girl is 27. I like, what? I look back. I see the beautiful dog standing looking out at me. Spin around and went in the back. I said, oh, my God. I'm like, what the world? She said, girl, they was about to throw you out of here. I'm like, well, what? how old did you think we were? Twelve. Oh, my God. That people thought I was twelve. I'm 27 years old. I'm about to be thrown out of a second club. Six years later, I'm still being accosted by people. Trying to throw me out of a club. Well, am I mad at that? Not, I'm not mad at that. I don't know. I'm 58 now, so. I don't get out much because I'm a little hermit in my house because I don't have no friends. And I don't care because these. My thing is, I don't have time to be People love. You know how it is when you got popular friends, then you got that little friend tagging along and da 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 looking for a blue. I'm done with that. If it ain't about Black Pixie, then I ain't got nothing to do with it. But I'm getting up after all of that 2017, my spiritual journey out of sight. I'm done with all of that. And I get invited to things. Because I simply just don't care no more. I care. I love people. But I don't care to the point where I'm always kissing people behind. Always tr trying to fit in. I ain't trying to fit in no more. I walk around here dressed on black pixie. I walk around here with this black and white tiger hat on with this long thing and put your hands in. I walk around with all kinds of colors and socks and do my thing. People are like, 
I had a guy ask me, he's, a, he's an older white guy, he said, who are you? Because I said, I'm going to be myself, my own little weird self. I dress in all kind of crazy colors, whatever. You just have to see, I have some pictures of me, and I'm dressing in my little crazy colors. I might make a little short minute video of them and just show you. <clears throat> That's what I, um, how I am. But now, I just decide. I'm going to be a barber. I get invited. I don't care because I wouldn't get invited anyway. If I don't get invited today, I I don't really know. I know it's a, um, I know it's a formal event. I have to be dressed up really nice. And it's probably the formal event like I went to last year. You know what you call, it's this event where you go to this fancy function and you got hat, hat something. <laughs> you know you wear the hat. Let's show you how... Innocent I am. Because I can't even remember the first time I've been in one. And I go to another one this year. I think that's what it is. But I already got my dress. I'm going to try to find these boots. My daughter got some boots around here. And I want to wear these. I got these short um, tights. Not tights. <laughs> knee highs. They got like a little flower. Knee high like thing. I got those, but I want to wear my boot. I want to I wanna wear these your socks in my boot because it's so cute like that. But I say, dress up, dress up. But I'm going to be dressed up. I think they might have a problem with me dressing the way I want to dress up because I want to be uniquely Barbara. Yes, I'm Barbara Black Pixie. So remember me as Barbara when I was Barbara, whatever I had my name was. Black Pixie. Yes. Okay. Back to Lioness Judah. Mm. And the Grammy goes to Lioness of Judah. I like that. I'm going to be bouncing off of that Lioness. I like that Lioness. 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 Don't pay my speech and attention because the medication that I'm taking causes that. I don't know how long it's going to last. But you need to tell other videos. I've been doing very well with my speaking and the words coming. I've done very well. This week, not so much. So, I don't know how long the medicine wear off. Because I'm just now, because I ha I'm just now coming to the point where I'm realizing what affects me and why I have trouble saying the words I want to say and remembering. Anyway, I got to get some of this uh, um, herbal teas in me, you know, and get done going. I cooked up last night a big old roasting pot of, uh, it's so tasty. Uh, I might do a video, I might do a vegan video up and put it on video and show you what I cooked last night. Brussels sprouts, green bell peppers, carrots, mm, broccoli, uh, what else did I have in it? La, la, is that everything? Is that everything? Yes! And red russet potatoes. I steamed all of that in a pot last night. And I ate three bowls. Because I was hungry. And I didn't, and, and I just wanted those vegetables. So I bought them. That's what I cooked last night. I'm going to do a video, a vegan video on that. Showing you the vegetable that I cook in this pot. Mm. And what did I put in it? I put red pepper in it, the cayenne pepper in it. I put some coconut oil in it. Because that's supposed to be good for diabetes or something. I'm not diabetic. I reversed it, but my husband is diabetic. Mm. Anyway, I put that in there, you know, and make it healthy for him. To help with that. Because you know, you, kinda, you got to kind of help people. Without telling them you help them. Because they don't let you help them. Okay. Okay. Alright. That's it for this video. And the grammar goes to Lioness of Judah. Tasha K. Okay, Tasha K. As you know, my page is about. Higher perspective. I don't take size. I just give 
my higher perspective. I'm not on Tasha's side, and I'm not on Carter B's side. Mr. Dennis, gosh, Miss, oh, uh, his name is after this guy. He used to be my husband's friend. Oh, I had to get checked. I had to check him. Mm. When we first got married, I had to check him. Mm -mm. Mm. And, uh, I'm going to remember his name. Gosh! Okay, since I can't remember his name, it's just sad I can't remember my name. It's just sad I can't remember my name. What's his name? It's sad I can't remember his name. And it's because of the medication I know, but oh well. Mr. Dennis uh, Byron. Cause I'm, cause my brother-in-law name is Byron also. And my, son, and my husband has an old friend. His name is Byron. Who? Oh. <laughs> you when you didn't live and you trying to turn Barbara into turn back Pixie into something she's not. And what I'm not is unfaithful to anything. Okay. Mr. Dennis Byron. Tasha got it also come from Mr. Dennis Byron. And this man had a real deal, Tasha. He posted his lawyers until you pulled your lawyers out running. Cardi B got a suit out on her. I see more and more lawsuits coming, Tasha. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I don't know what she's doing. But she seems fully confident in whatever that she's doing. I'm not going to post all of this, you know, this stuff about all of this. And that. I'm going to talk on it. But. I'm new here, so I can't, like, like, how they get this stuff and piece it all together. I'm still learning. I went, and I went and got me a MacBook. They got me a MacBook in January, February. Because I had a, um, a HP for years. I gave it to my grandson. Because I just be on my iPad and my iPhone. Eh, that's all I need. Now, I say, I need to get a laptop after all these years. So, after all of those years, I went ahead and... I wanted a MacBook, so I said I don't had a uh, Windows since '95. I got my first ever uh, computer, when, um, a '98, '98 Windows. I think I got that. Got it in 1990. I think I got that computer in 1998. Got a computer in 1998. My very first ever computer. Ever. And I said, ever, never know nothing about a computer until 98. So that tell you how old I was when I first got on a um, computer. And after I worked with that for years, you know, because I'm the kind of troubleshooting, you could repair one or tear up something, fix it, person. So that's what I did. Tear up, I tear up computer, fix it, but and call my friend who is, uh, who has his own business, computer business, had to call him, and he talked me through 45 minutes to get my monitor re, because I disabled my monitor, and I called him up, and he talked me through 45 minutes, got it back and up and running. I knew right then and there, that's what I want to do. Computer and software. I can do the electronic thing, because, but, because of my MS, it causes a whole lot of pain. So I don't know, so I'm not taking nothing apart and putting it back together. But I will go on here and do the software, computer programming, all of that other good stuff. So, got my first computer. Now I got this MacBook. And, and now since I'm a new YouTuber on here since, I think, 2017, I can't remember, 2017, November. And I decided that I'm going to do videos. Now, it's been a year. I've been doing this now. I'm going on to... It's been a year. November, December, January, year, four months. And my subscriber has gone from zero to 129. Slowly but surely, I'm getting there. And, I, and I'm... While I'm learning a whole new animal, which is 
a Mac because it's a completely different machine than a Windows. In, and I know a Windows in and out, backwards and forward, because that's what I've been dealing with for years. Working with Microsoft, giving them ideas, being a part of the panel thing, be online, doing the surveys, telling them what I think. And that's it took my ideas. And now you see, people take online, but I'm not. Microsoft went from 35 Stock me for $35. And I think it's up to a hundred and something dollars. I helped them get there. Because I get they did send me surveys and I would tell them how I use my product because I was because I wanted because I was into I decided I like Apple more. Because I like the iPad and the iPhone. And I told them how the how we needed to be how I wanted to be able to use my iPad and my iPhone wanted to interact with my Windows laptop. And that's what they did. That's what they did. And I got to use, when it first came out, when you could have used the uh, Microsoft Office on the iPad, on the, on the, on the phone, iPad phone, all that, I gave them that idea. People think I'm lying. I had actually been called a liar. I'm like, oh, I don't care. I was the very first one to use their OneNote on my phone for free. It was 99 cents that you used the Microsoft Office on it, and I got to use it for free because Microsoft always just let me just let me use. I, I was to get free antivirus, and I just go on my laptop and just do whatever comes to my mind. This is what I want my laptop to do. And that's what happened. So I'll call me a liar. I don't care. Because I'm one of those. You look at me. You see me as. You see my face. You, you, you go to my page. You see my picture. You, you see what I look like. But. The person behind that skin. What I say is true. Anyway. So I got my MacBook. While I'm learning this MacBook, and now I don't got, I don't got used to. Still a lot I don't know. I think I haven't even tried yet, but I'm feeling comfortable with it, like I was with my um, uh, Windows laptop. Now I'm, now I'm, now I'm that way with the MacBook. At the MacBook, three months, January, February, March, April. Get my MacBook like three months. I think I got it in January. So, yeah. ah, so, 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 so. so, I'm learning. I'm still learning. So, with all these pieces of the video together and making these cute little videos like Judah Alliance is making other ones make, I haven't gotten there yet. So, I'm doing this little thing the way I'm doing it. And if people got a problem with me, you know, doing it the way I'm doing it because I'm learning. That's how I learn. I delete the video because I'm not monetized. I can be monetized. I can be monetized by ads because I can do that, but I don't choose to do that right now. I just want to build my channel, build my channel, and when I get to where I get my thousand subscribers, then I'll see if I want to be monetized. Cause they, I, don't, I don't know if I do the ads, but then I, I can monetize my videos. And I don't know how much money I'll be making then. I don't know. Just right now, I'm just not concerned with making money on here. I'm concerned with learning how to do this the right way. You know, build my channel, you know, um, trademark my image. Because you know my image is Black Pixie. I see how Judah has hers up. I know in my mind is I already know what my whole page image trademark all that gonna look like. I know what it's gonna look like. I just have not yet got to the place where that's gonna happen. Cause it's in my head. 
is in my head. Okay. In no way. I like talking because, you know, I don't have anybody to talk to because people don't want to hear me talk because, I guess because I talk like this and it annoys people. People think I'm like, people think I need to, people, people think I need, I don't know, people think I need medication, but I don't. I'm disabled. I'm, um, you know, multiple sclerosis kind of got me going on here. Not as active as I once was. And a blonde in the right eye. And be, people be walking into me, bumping into me, knocking me down. Looking at me like I'm crazy. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't see nothing to the right of me. So, people are like, oh, okay. I'm here. I ain't got to worry about bumping into nobody. Hmm, I ain't got to worry about my leg giving out. I ain't got to worry about none of that. I ain't got to worry about that vertigo. Because all I do is lean back on my pillow and take me a nap. And I rest and I get back up and get on here. Okay, everybody. Okay. That's it for this video for real this time. And the Grammy goes to the Lioness of Judah. Bye! I will be back with my video.